for Clark Howard, and, and we don't say that about you, you say it about yourself. He's a man right? after my heart. <laughs> I agree with him. You know, Chris, there's a lot of speculation about whether cheap's just a fad or it's here to stay. For many of us, and for many reasons, it's permanent. Shelly Hussey of Ackworth has spent the last 20 years perfecting her money-saving methods. Now, what you want to do is feel for shoulder pads. You I just take my hand and go, and then you can go down the whole row pretty quick. So, it's I mean, Shelly's way of life. I've been able to save probably in the thousands on clothes. Went to Goodwill and went to garage sales from the time I was in my 20s. Um, so here I am today in Salvation Army. I've reached the pinnacle. Clothing is just the minor leagues on the frugal path. You really are going to save m the majority of your money on vehicles, on furniture, on your house, on large purchases like that. I think that Shelly and I are out of the same mold. Some people talk frugally. I live frugally. For instance, right here, my repossessed dresser. Over there, another piece of repossessed furniture, a repossessed nightstand, and a repossessed love seat. Now we're in my office in my home. And I work on this desk. It's actually a dining room table. I bought it at a repossession sale for 99 bucks. And this, this is the love seat that my daughter uses, 99 bucks. She's three years old, and she's definitely an urban assault vehicle. Through the years, many people have thought that people like Shelly and me are silly, or worse, sick. They think that saving money's a game. But the real reason behind saving is deadly serious. And if you can save money, doing something like this, or in any area of your life, why would you choose to go another route? It's a matter of making wise choices. I drive an old car with 82,000 miles. My daughter wears mostly used clothes. Everything I'm wearing right now, including my shoes, cost a total of $171. Here's the kicker. I have no debt. It's wonderful. My mother has long been a shopper of Goodwill stores, used stores, because she says just because somebody else used it doesn't mean it's not good. That's right. You are wearing shoes, though. We see you around the station a lot without your shoes well, actually, on. Actually, I'm not wearing <laughs> shoes right now. If you look down, they're over there. But what I, I like is the watch, inexpensive, too. 29. <laughs> Thanks for that good advice, Clark.